And now, before we save and publish the product, we have a little bit more options over here. Really important ones are the categories. So you have a category for all products, but you want a category for just t-shirts. So we can set this up here and save. And for example, if we would sell hoodies, then we can have another category for hoodies and just enter it here, but then deselect it. So this is just a t-shirt and it's just in the category of all products and t-shirts. And down here, you can create a coupon for this product. You can promote this product via your social channels. And of course, every product page has some SEO settings. So you need to then set up the SEO meta title and the SEO description. And therefore, I would recommend that you take a proper name. So not just merch t-shirt. For example, if you would be, I don't know, the Mr. Beast YouTube channel, then you would say t-shirt from Mr. Beast or a merch t-shirt from Mr. Beast. And people might search this on Google and then they will find the Mr. Beast store to purchase the merch t-shirt from Mr. Beast. You get the idea. We already had keywords and this is really important that your products will be found on Google. Of course, if you say red t-shirt, it will be probably not found. But if you have brand names like red t-shirt from Nike, you might have a chance to rank on Google for this search term. Then you have different text groups. This is advanced. We don't need this. So some products have different text groups and therefore you can set this up here later on. But for for now, we don't need it. And then we can just say, okay, show an online store, it's ready to sell. Then we can click on save. And now we have created our first product, a merch t-shirt, and it's in four different variants and has different price points. And now we can go to categories and see our categories here. For example, here is the all product category, but we have the t-shirt category. And here we can add some description and also a category image. So you can go here again and say t-shirt, and then we can just choose this image and click on add to page and then click save. I would recommend you do that for all the categories because this image will be shown here. So this is the image for all products. And if you then go to the t-shirt category, you will see a different image. So let's see how it looks already. So publish and then we can go to our site, go on shop. And now we see our first product here. And if we filter for t-shirts, then it will only show our t-shirt and the category image we just entered. So this is pretty cool. I will later on show you how you can make individual category pages because for now it's just an all-in-one product shop and you have the categories here, but you can also make individual pages where you can then select from the drop-down the t-shirt category. But you don't have to do this. I think this is already sufficient. And now you would go ahead and delete all the dummy products 